veteran sales and lease. Pick your tickets up today in Torrington at Bonabine or in Scottsbluff at Wolf Photo Center and Aaron Sales and Lease. LCS 21, October 24th at the Scottsbluff County Event Center in Mitchell. You can watch all the action live on MMA Futures. We'll see you October 24th. The Emporium Coffeehouse and Cafe presents the Community Calendar. Whether it's a quick bite or a leisure meal, you'll always receive high-quality food without the high price at the Emporium. With an edgy menu that features casual gourmet food made with fresh local produce and a full bar stocked with the area's largest wine list, you'll want to make your plans to have your next meal at the Emporium. The historic Midwest Theater announces The Visit will screen this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Midwest Theater on Broadway, downtown Scotts Bluff. For more information, call 632-4311 or visit midwesttheater.com. Keeping you up to date with our community events, this has been the Community Calendar presented to you by the Emporium Coffee House and Cafe. Visit EmporiumDining.com for menus and pictures of their mouth-watering dishes. Serving your favorite coffee house drinks from 6.30 to 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday, the Emporium also serves lunch from 11 to 2 with dinner beginning at 5 p.m. With prices that fit any budget, join them for casual dining right around the corner at the Emporium on First Avenue in Scott's Bluff. Legion Combat Sports is back in the Pillow, Nebraska, October 24th at the Scottsbluff County Event Center in Mitchell as two former amateur title holders will square up inside the cage for a professional championship bout. Come watch as Scottsbluff's Joey Minos and Gearing's Lazo Rock Perez go to battle in the main event at LCS 21 Relentless. Also, fan favorite Ryan Main Event McDonald returns for the first time as a professional. Three titles, one night to remember. Relentless is presented by Bluff Broadcasting and brought to you by the OT, Fremont Ford, Wolfato Center, Wall Space and North Billboards, the Nebraska Lottery, Extreme Dents, Whiting Signs, Holiday Inn, Coors, and Aaron Sales and Lease. Pick your tickets up today in Torrington at Bonabine or in Scottsbluff at Wolfato Center and Aaron Sales and Lease. LCS 21, October 24th at the Scottsbluff County Event Center in Mitchell. You can watch all the action live on MMA Futures. We'll see you October 24th. Now at the Home Depot, get the Kida Remote Link Monitor for just 99 bucks. It works with your existing smoke or carbon monoxide alarms. Nothing more to buy, no more monthly fees. If an alarm triggers anywhere in your house, it alerts you through your smartphone or tablet, wherever you are. It's as simple and easy and affordable as that. Let's do this. The Kida Remote Link Monitor, only 99 bucks and only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. While supplies last, U.S. only. You're listening to Middays with McDonald's on Sunny 99.3 from our NTC studios. Coming up this afternoon, we've got WNCC Cougar Volleyball right here on Sunny 99.3 presented by Platte Valley Companies. WNCC versus Western Texas College, 1 o'clock this afternoon with Michael Reed calling that game. And then tonight, WNCC versus Garden City Community College at 7 o'clock. Again with Michael Reed. You can catch those games right here on Sunny 99.3 and you can stream the games online as well. Just go to bluffsbroadcasting.com. PSN is the Bluff Sports Network. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Gary Urich, for that introduction. Michael Reed joining you from the Logos broadcast booth as we do have a special afternoon presentation of WNCC Cougar Volleyball right here on the Bluff Sports Network presented by Platte Valley Companies. Again, Michael Reed with you flying solo in the Logos broadcast booth this afternoon, but I'm sure my normal partner in crime, Dave Bruns, is out there with a least one earbud in his ear listening in intently as the Cougars face an afternoon matchup here today and also open up play here in the WNCC Classic, one of three tournaments that will take place in Cougar Palace on the season. But we are just about ready to get things underway a few minutes before we go. And as you heard Gary allude to, it is WNCC versus Western Texas this afternoon. The Westerners coming to town as part of this year's WNCC Classic. Just one of several matchups that will take place here at Cougar Palace today. So we certainly uh, thank you for joining us and listening in today on the Bluff Sports Network. And from screen printing to embroidery, logo has you covered. You can shop the showroom or get something custom made at Logos at 1344 10th Street in Gearing. My producer engineer back in the West Coast studios is Tiffany Hopkins. Thanks so much for getting us on the air this afternoon. And Westco will, of course, provide service solution success. We appreciate them being a part of the Blood 
Tops Sports Network family. And as we do not have any starting lineup so far this afternoon, we're just going to look over some of the stats on the season, which should give us a pretty good indication of who we're going to see a lot of this afternoon. West Texas comes into this game at 22-10 and 10 on the season under first-year head coach George Hamilton. His assistant is Megan Coleman. And I should mention, too, that our starting lineups are brought to you by The Zone at Scottsdale Screen Printing and Business for the last 20 years. They are your screen printing headquarters. Stop into The Zone at 1813 Broadway in downtown Scotts Bluff. And as I mentioned, no starting lineups as of yet, as it's a rather slow start to the tournament here this afternoon, but expect a lot. In fact, four ladies for Western Texas come in at over 100 kills on the season, a couple of them pushing that 300 mark, including number 20, Carly Pounds, the six-foot sophomore out of Monahans, Texas, with 297 kills already on the season. Expect to hear a lot out of her this afternoon. Also, number eight, Lupita Quintanilla, the 5'9 sophomore out of Plainview, Texas, with 284 kills so far on the season. Also, number 13, Anna Marie Perkins, the 6'1 sophomore out of Cottonwood Heights, Utah, with 151 kills so far on the season. And number four, Tana Bear, 5'11 freshman out of Kimberly, Idaho. And while the Cougars kind of rotate the entire offense around Fabiana Andraji, who has 1,000 kills already on the season, uh, kind of a double-headed monster for Western Texas as they run it through a couple of Westerners. Number 22, Tabitha Williams, with 755 assists on on the season. She is a 5'8 freshman out of South Weaver, Utah. And number five, Victoria Garcia. Like I said, the two added together come to about as many as Fabiana Andraji has so far this season. Victoria Garcia so far with 434 assists in the season. Number five, a 5'8 sophomore out of McAllen, Texas. Again, West Texas comes into the game at 22 and 10 on the season. They have played some of the heavies in the nation so far this season. They did go down to the Tyler, Texas tournament. The, the Cougars bowed out of this year to have an extra tournament here at home. But at that tournament, uh, it was a rather difficult road to hoe, if you will, for the Western Texas Tex Westerners as they fell to one of the a couple of the top ten teams in the nation, Missouri State West Plains, also Indian Hills, coming out of the short end of the stick against those two teams. Also, Blinn blanked them at that Tyler Junior College tournament, but always a very, very tough set of teams. But it prepares you for uh, games against the number one team in the nation, which is what they will face here today in Cougar Palace. Looking at the starters for the Cougars today, I expect a much of the same. Number one, Fabiana Andragi, 5'7", sophomore setter out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Number two, Kiala Keo Perez has been running most libero duties for the Cougars so far this season. 5'7", sophomore out of Fresh Wamanalo, Hawaii. Also number six, Kaylee Spryer has been starting quite a bit lately for the Cougars. She is a six-foot freshman out of Gearing, Nebraska. And uh, expect her to rotate in quite a bit with Boogie Tiamalu, the six-foot freshman middle hitter out of Kenohi, Kano, Kenny Ohi, Kauai. I always have trouble with that one. That's probably why I don't spend a lot of time in Hawaii. Interesting note about that, and we'll get back to that in a moment. Also expect a lot today out of Laura Peach, the 5'11 freshman out of Brandenburg, Germany, and of course, number 13, Jaji Girado, 6-foot freshman out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Starting lineups this afternoon brought to you by The Zone at Scotts Bluff Screen Printing in business for the last 20 years. They're your screen printing headquarters. Stop into The Zone at 1813 Broadway in downtown Scotts Bluff. Big thank you going out to Mariah O'Connor's dad, James, who's actually here from Hawaii today, brought me a very delicious treat of chocolate-covered macadamia nuts fresh from Hawaii, so I appreciate that. Thanks so much to Mariah's dad for offering me up that gift. And we will come back with more of the pregame show and Cougar Volleyball after this. 90-second timeout. You're listening to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. When it comes to estate and tax planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in the financial institution you choose to handle your trust. Talking with someone about your investments, your future, or your estate planning is a very sensitive thing. I'm Clark Wisniewski, Chief Trust Officer for the Trust Division at Platte Valley Bank, where we pride ourselves in serving our neighbors, our friends, and our family. Platte Valley Bank Trust Division, your best choice. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC. Some investments may not be FDIC insured, may lose value, and are not guaranteed by the bank. Our producers know that running a successful operation these days requires having reliable service and quality products. That's why you know you can trust the knowledgeable people at Wesco to provide you sound agronomic advice, aerial application, bulk fuel, lubricants, propane, tires, and other essentials to keep your operation running smoothly. Our priority is helping you succeed. Call or visit your nearest Wesco location today. Wesco. Service. Solutions. Success. Wesco is your best value through and through. <laughs> The world's most intriguing diamonds come from the master craftsman of Antwerp, Belgium, the world's diamond capital. 
This is Tracy from Bentley's Fine Jewelry Repair. By journeying direct to Antwerp, I'm able to examine and hand select each individual diamond from my store. Before I leave, I will be pre-selling diamonds at savings of 40 to 50% off retail prices. Come and see us before October 1st to pre-order your dream diamond direct from Antwerp, Belgium. That's Bentley's Fine Jewelry Repair, downtown Scottsbluff, your only local direct diamond importer. Pop quiz. If Jimmy has a tuna sandwich, Susie has last night's leftovers, and you have a hot, delicious, spicy jack burger from Runza, who's having an awesome day? You are, because our spicy jack is loaded with pepper jack, jalapenos, bacon, and jalapeno ranch. And if you want your day to get even more awesome, try the spicy jack Runza sandwich or chicken sandwich, too. Spicy jack's got so much flavor, we couldn't contain it to a burger. Runza, the difference is real. Aloha, this is number three for Tino Manu, and you're listening to Starting Cougar Volleyball on Sunny Texas And welcome back to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. And yes, Dave, I know, be very jealous. See what happens when you don't show up for home games? I know, it's in the afternoon. But yes, indeed, Dave Bruns uh, sending me a slew of texts about my delicious gift, the Hawaiian Host Chocolate-Covered Macadamia Nuts. I will enjoy those a lot, Dave. However, I almost feel kind of hard-pressed to even open them. It was such a nice gift, and I don't want to mess up, <laughs> mess up the box. But again, thanks to Mariah O'Connor's dad for bringing me a gift all the way from Hawaii, and he mentioned that he listens into our broadcasts across the Bluff Sports Network, so we certainly appreciate his support and allowing us to uh, have his daughter as part of the WNCC Cougar Athletics team as she has had some really, really nice games so far on the season for the Cougars as well. Mentioned a few moments ago, the Cougars come into this game at number one in the country. In fact, that will remain hopefully through the weekend as they look to host, hopefully unblemished through the WNCC Classic this weekend, but picking up a four-set win over NJC on Wednesday night certainly won't affect that number one ranking at all as they are number one, getting all the first place votes in last week's NJCAA National Bowl. Coming in at number two is Southern Idaho with Indian Hills in at number three. Tyler at number four and another Region 9 team in there in the top five. Northwest still hanging around at number five. Salt Lake is number six. Iowa Western who will make an appearance here at Cougar Palace coming up in the next tournament. The Lady Cougar Classic is in at number seven. Polk State number eight. Central Florida number nine. And Santa Fe in at number 10. Talking about some of those teams already that have faced the West Texas Westerners so far in the season. As you go down in through 11 through 20, Panola at 11, Indian River State 12, Palm Beach State number 13, Hillsboro number 14, Jefferson, Missouri, one of those teams the Cougars have faced so far this season. In fact, I believe that went Jefferson's way early on in the year as they faced them at that Iowa Western tournament. One of the two games that the Cougars did lose, but they uh, went all the way to five sets in that game. Another one of those that I think was just a case of early miscommunication, but uh, right now still Jefferson hanging out tough at number 15. Blinn at 16. Missouri State West Plains back-to-back -back teams that have faced West Texas this year at 16 and 17. Frank Williams at 18. Hutchinson, a team that's got a very tall girl in their lineup. As we saw at the National Tournament last year, at least six foot five, and they are sitting at number 19. And number 20 is San Jacinto Central. Texas team rounding out the top 20. Speaking of tall girls, West Texas also features a six foot for freshman Abigail Talbot. Although you didn't hear a whole lot of her on the stat sheets, expect to see a lot of her along the net and uh, could be difficult for the Cougar hitters to try to get past that big blocking frame. Six foot four freshman out of Star, Idaho. The pregame warm ups have concluded and we are just about ready to get things started off here from Cougar Palace as Western Texas will set up on the right side of the net wearing all white jerseys with blue numerals and lettering as well as blue shorts. Their libero, which is number one, Erica Sienes, the five foot freshman out of El Paso, Texas, wearing all blue with the white trim and white numerals. Meanwhile, the Cougars wearing their all blue jerseys with their white numerals and gold trim, and the libero, K.O. Perez, wearing a white jersey with blue numerals and gold trim. Going through the final setups here for the two. <laughs> no, Dave, I'm not going to eat them while I'm on the air, that's for sure. Still can't get over those chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. West Texas will start with the ball first, and we are underway as service comes across from Tabitha Williams. Cougars working it over in three, and Boogie Tiamalu starting off with a bang here. First point goes to the Cougars on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard as she swings one from the left side and finds an opening in the back line of defense. 
And Cougars strike first on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Looks like Fabian Andrade will be back to serve here for the Cougars. Well, looks like a few fans have filtered in here to Cougar Palace for this afternoon matchup. See if a few more can start to kind of work their way in as a whiff on the other side of the ball results in an unintended ace for Andrade. Coming up to the line was Anna Marie Perkins, six foot one sophomore out of Cottonwood Heights, Utah, but literally just hit air as the ball falls to the floor. Two nothing now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Andrade back to serve again for the number one team in the nation, the WNCC Cougars, as the ball is going to be pushed up at the net. A lift is going to be called against Tabitha Williams at one of those digs that was actually looking like it was more in the wheel well for the Cougars to get up there and at it. Tabitha Williams trying to keep it under control for the Westerners, but as a result gets called for the lift, and the Cougars up 3 to nothing on the Life Cell Center scoreboard, and Draji back to serve once again. It's a good palm in it, back row. Looks like Western Texas will play this one, but it's going to be past the back line and out of bounds off the hands of Carly Pounds, kill leader for Western Texas this year with almost 300 on the season. But that time denied as it goes out of bounds, bringing the score now to four to nothing on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And Draji's service run will continue here early on in set number one, brought to you by Runza. And Draji swings it across. Western Texas now with another chance up at the line. And same thing as the last point. It's Carly Pounds putting too much on it. Past the back line, out of bounds, back to back errors. And already the Cougars up five to nothing on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Timeout called early here by first year coach George Hamilton. And we will keep it right here. As I mentioned, first set brought to you by Runza. Runza doesn't think of themselves as just another restaurant in town. They would like to think of themselves as part of the community. Runza with locations in Scotts Bluff and Gearing. Also, this afternoon scoreboard brought to you by the Lifestyle Center. From makeup and beauty supplies to spa services, including nails, hair, massage, even a garden center with flowers, shrubs, and more. The Lifestyle Center has you covered. And you can book online anytime at the spa by TLC.com. TLC, the Lifestyle Center, 3109 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff. Getting ready to come back out of the timeout, and Draji will continue her service for the Cougars. WNCC leading 5 to nothing on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. A couple of errors there for the Westerners. Coach Hamilton trying to settle down his team, and we'll see what the result is coming out of the timeout as Andrade again puts a hand on it. This one's going to go out of bounds off the hands of Pounds. Actually hits me on the back of the head as it comes bouncing off of the stands. And therein again is the peril of being a radio man, especially when you are courtside. However, I'll take one for the team as the Cougars will get the point. Six to nothing now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Andrade, the only server for the Cougars, will continue beyond the service line. Back row is her... Flawless service continues and pounds again. Pounds one past the back line. And I don't know if it's a case of the jitters or just coming out flat, but right now, oh wow, they're going to give pounds a break. I think they're going to say that was touched by the Cougars. It looked like it went straight out of bounds, but they will say contact made. So that actually is going to go the Westerners way. That high delivery for Juliana Rodriguez, 5'4 freshman out of Big Spring, Texas, and the Cougars just able to recover and to get it back in three. Now on the left side, one of the heavy hitters, Lupita Quintanilla, takes the shot. Blocked at the net as it comes back the other way. Ravenel has a return. Cougars get another chance as Boogie Tiamala will send it across. Free ball opportunity now for West Texas, but blocked at the net. Jaji Girado blocks it straight back down on the side of the West Texas Westerners. And the Cougars make it a one and done for the service run for the Westerners here, making the score seven to one now on the Life Cell Center scoreboard. And Jaji Girado will get the point for the block, and now she'll get the serve as well. Long cross court shot, though, too much outside it goes, and that's going to be a point for the Westerners here on the first service error of the game for the Cougars. And Jaji Girado will set to the bench now. And up front along the front line for the Westerners now is Abigail Talbot, the six foot four freshman, and the dig goes long right where Quinton Quintanilla gets a hand on it. Luckily, the Cougars able to keep it back. Over it goes. West Texas will return it. Now the Cougars get another chance on offense, and Boogie Tiamala with a beautiful play on the left side of the net. The blockers for Western Texas were lined up on that side, getting ready for the block, but Boogie Tiamala just kind of puts a little finesse handle on it, pushes it into the middle of the floor, and as a result, gets a kill. Lara Peached checks into the game now for the Cougars. Katie Ernest will sit, and Boogie Tiamala will be rewarded with the serve. Cougars lead 8-2 to two on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And another mistake out of Western Texas as Lupita Quintanilla 
The kills second kill leader for the West Texas Westerners has the same trouble as the kill leader. She can't get that one back across the net. Another error gives the Cougars a seven-point lead, 9-2, to two, as Western Texas will get it across in three. Now Cougars with a free ball and rab it all. Swings cross-court, beautifully placed from right to left side, in it stays. And that one blasts past the Western Texas bench and on towards the door. Corral it back, and the Cougars into double-digit scoring first, 10-2 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard as they have owned set one to this point. Boogie Tiamala with another serve off the hands of Quintanilla. Just keeping it alive, Western Texas returns. Cougars block Talbot's attempt, but some miscommunication, maybe a misplay there along the line as Andraji has it come awkwardly off of her hands and goes out of bounds. So the Cougars take a nice block there. Like I said, Abigail Talbot with a really good handle on that one. Cougars kept alive, but in the end, just losing control of it up towards the net. And it's going to be a Western Texas point, 10 to 3 now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Service across, middle of the floor to Manu. She'll set it up front for Keo Perez, who in turn gives Peach the opportunity. Blocked back, and the Cougars get another chance, and Rabinal is going to keep this one in bounds. And the line judge that was given Dave Bruns fits the other night, because I don't know if she ever one time called a point in for the Cougars. Well, she's... Uh, She's uh, made up for it there, Dave. She just called that one inbounds. And it was a Cougar point for Rabinal. Cougars lead by eight here early on in set one. Talbot tries to push one down, but kept alive by Peach. Nice defensive play there. Now she'll get a chance on offense. Swings it across. Ten-foot line nearly goes to the floor. Somehow Western Texas keeps it alive. That was an amazing effort by them. But in the end, Kaylee Spryer gets the last lap. As she jumps up and plunks one down in that left corner, Cougars up by nine. 12 to three on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard, and Coach Hamilton wants to take another timeout. We'll do the same. 30 seconds of back with more Cougar volleyball on Sunny 99.3. For three generations, Jolla Funeral Home has been here to help you through the trying times of losing a loved one. With an experienced staff of over 100 years of experience, we're still here to assist you in all your planning needs with professional and personal attention to every detail. We've been helping families since 1962 with unparalleled service and artistry. We're able to serve the Valley with the finest in funeral service, a proud past, and a promising future. Jala Funeral Home, our family serving your family for three generations. Go Cougars! Go Cougars! And welcome back to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. Coming out of the timeout, Cougars lead 12-3 to on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. It will be Barbara Rabinall back to serve, and no Dave Bruns. He is Coach George Hamilton, but not that George Hamilton, not anywhere near his tan. So there you go, Dave, just to uh, let the mystery rest. Service across from Rabinall, returned in three by Western Texas, but now a free ball opportunity for the Cougars. Laura Peach off the hands of the blocker and out of bounds. Had to wait there for a moment as Juliana Rodriguez. I didn't think anyone was going to get a handle on that, but somehow, magically, she comes up underneath that ball, but the dig straight up off her hands, over the net, and out of bounds. Will result in a kill for Lara Peach, and the Cougars now lead by double digits, 13-3 to on the Lifestyle Center. Another nice little line drive. Western Texas able to return it in three. But Fabiana Andrade poo-poos the idea of a set dump and instead just goes up and plows one home into that left corner. Fabiana Andrade showing some ups there. As she will add to the point total for the Cougars. 14-3 now as Rabinal will serve again. Getting underneath that one was Talbot and now returned in three. Western Texas, Rabinal there. Back row up front to Andrade. Now Laura Peach. Peach, that shot was going out of bounds, but kept in by Sienes. And then that's going to result in a point for the Cougars as Western Texas gets called for a double hit. That a huge mistake by Sienes as Peach's offering was looking like it was going to go well past the back line. Cougars get a break, and the service will continue for Rabinal. 15-3 to on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Up front, Andrade now feeds it far side. Peach to no doubt about that one. She slams one straight home. And right now, that defense for the Westerners just cannot crack the combination. Lady Cougars coming from all sides, and Western Texas right now finds themselves in a deep, deep hole. 16-3 to here in set number one on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Serves across from Rabinal once again. Western Texas plays it up towards the net. Pushed across. Nice move there by Lupita Quintanilla. She realizes that all the power wasn't working, so she just tries to push one up over the front row of blockers. She will get that one to fall, so she temporarily stops the bleeding here for Western Texas. 16-4 to now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. 
jumping serve across from Quintanilla, taken up by K.O. Perez. Now Andrade will feed it to Kaylee Spryer. Spryer not a whole lot on that one, but almost catches Western Texas napping there. And now she's going to get another chance at this one, and she'll just push one across this time. And a diving attempt by the libero, Erica Sien, is denied. And the Westerners, again, just cannot get a handle as Kaylee Spryer goes from a hard hit to a soft one. And the, in the end, the soft hit is the one that gets the point. 17-4 now, Cougars. Blocked again, Jaji Girado up there with Laura Peached on the far side. Tana Bear is denied backwards, stays inbounds for the Cougar point. 18-4 now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And I'll tell you, things a lot smoother here for the Cougars than I thought it was going to be, as this is a quality program. But coming back the other way, the Cougars strike again off the hands of Garcia and out of bounds. And I think they were actually calling her for a double hit, even though it went off her hands and out of bounds. So either way, it was going to be a Cougar point as they are cruising here in set number one, 19 to four. Service comes across and uh, Western Texas able to get it back in three. Rare mistake there as the Cougars Rabidol gets underneath that one off her hands and out of bounds. So the service run for Fuatino Mano will end there. And it's 19 to five Cougars on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. It's like Erica Sienes, the five foot freshman libero for, from El Paso will serve for Western Texas. Keep in mind, another game coming your way later on tonight here on Sunny 99.3 as it will be a 7 o'clock matchup against, again, former assistant coach Jackie Matula bringing her Garden City squad back to town. Making another appearance at Cougar Palace as Laura Peached is blocked on the left side and that gives the Westerners something to cheer about, at least for a moment. Tana Bear, Anna Marie Perkins over there to deny Peached and rare back-to-back -back points for the Westerners here in set number one. Rabinal underneath the effort and Andrade with another kill. This time it's a set dump placed perfectly on the 10-foot line. Nobody for Western Texas anywhere near that one. And the Cougars crack the 20 mark. 20-6 to six on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Lara Peach now back to serve for WNCC. Rabinal and Keo Perez in the middle with Jaji Girado, Boogie Tiamalo, and Fabian Andrade up front. Set up on the far side of the net is kept alive by the Cougars. Andrade will set it up for Jaji Girado. Hard hit. That goes high off the fist of a Westerner. And they're going to bring it back in three. Free ball opportunity for the Cougars as Andrade now gives Boogie Tiamalo a shot. And that time the defense couldn't even get there in time. Boogie Tiamalo put that right down in between. Look like Lupita Quintanilla and Erica Sanez back there. And both of them stayed flat-footed as that one just came too quickly. Tiamala with a kill makes it 21 to 6. As Peach will score again or serve again. High dig, and this one's going to be fed up front. Thought for a moment there they were going to call a net violation against Anna Marie Perkins, and she was even looking at the pedestal judge to <laughs> get the call. But she will remain clean. Point goes to the Westerners. Now 21-7. to seven. Cougars up by a couple of touchdowns here in the runs of first set. And back to serve will be the 5'8 freshman out of South Weaver Tech, Utah, Tabitha Williams. As Williams gets the all clear, she'll put a handle on this one. Back row underneath it is K.O. Perez, perfectly placed to Andrade. Jaji Girado, good hit, but blocked back. Cougars with another chance here. Far side, Boogie Tiamalu blocked again. And this time it's going to fall. Point for Anna Marie Perkins. 6 1 sophomore getting the better out of that deal on the far side. And so Western Texas making a move here late in set number one. 21 to 8 the score on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. As Williams will send it across again. High dig up front and a uh, nice job there. Fabiana Andrade adjusting just enough with that set dump. And she puts it right in the breadbasket of Anna Marie Perkins, who at that point. Has no idea what to do with it. Gets called for the carry. And the Cougars get the ball back, leading by 14. 22 to 8. Fabian Andrade, who started service in this set, will be back again. Back row up front now. Williams will set it up for Perkins. And Perkins is going to miss that right sidelines. Out of bounds it goes. Error gives the Cougars another point and a 15-point lead here in set one. 23 to 8. And this might be the most dominating performance in a set I've seen the Cougars put forth all year. And against a quality opponent like the Westerners, that speaks a lot for the girls being prepared to come into this morning's tournament. Shot taken by Rabinal. That one's going to stay in bounds. And the Cougars find themselves already at set point. 24 to 8 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard as the sparse, sparsely populated Cougar Palace crowd starts to get to their feet. We'll see if Andrade can wrap up the set that she began. 
Service is across. Kind of a misplay there by Western Texas, but they're able to get it back in three. Now an opportunity for the Cougars, and Rabinal ends it with authority. 25-8. to eight. Absolute domination by the Lady Cougars here in set number one. We're going to step aside, take a two-minute timeout, and come back with more WNCC Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. What sets Century Lumber apart? Well, that's easy. At Century Lumber Center, they're committed to providing their customers with quality products and outstanding service at competitive pricing that you've grown to expect. With a sales staff with over 80 years of experience, they're there to assist you with all of your projects from start to finish. Stop in today and let them help you with all of your hardware and construction needs. Let Century Lumber earn your business today. Century Lumber Center, 1725 East Overland in Scotts Bluff. At Scott's Bluff Body and Paint, we handle anything from towing, minor dents, and major collision damage with ease. Our investment in state-of-the-art equipment is backed by skilled technicians, trained in the latest repair techniques, and with years of experience. Best of all, we are insurance-friendly and recognized as a direct repair facility for many of the national insurance companies. Scott's Bluff Body and Paint, the number one rated body and paint shop in the Valley. Located at 1502 Circle Drive, Scott's Bluff. Waste Connections of Nebraska Incorporated provides the following services. Residential, commercial, roll-off, and rural collection services. With the transfer station open to the public Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Main office business hours are Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 4.30 p.m. Closed on Saturdays and Sundays. Waste Connections of Nebraska for all your waste needs. Located at 710 Country Club Road in Gearing. Or give them a call at 308-632-6060. Logos on 10th Street in Gearing. I'm Katie Ernest, number 14, and you're listening to Cougar Volleyball. Welcome back to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. The Cougars with perhaps the most dominating one-set performance I've seen all season long as they absolutely take the Western Texas Westerners to task. 25-8, to eight, your runs of first set final. And again, runs that doesn't think of themselves as just another restaurant in town. They would like to think of themselves as part of the community. Runs with locations in Scotts Bluff and Gehring. So the Cougars now leading one to nothing on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. We'll switch sides and get ready to do it again. And I believe Cougars will start with service. And uh, Steve Hall here with me this afternoon. We were talking there in the interim during the break. Really, just an absolutely clean first set for the Cougars. Only about one service error from Jaji Girado. Otherwise, just not a lot of the mistakes playing like the number one team in the nation here in the opening set versus West Texas. And Fabian Andraji will go back to serve. She was extremely effective from the service line there in set number one. We'll see if we can continue things here as the Cougars absolutely taking it out on the Westerners there in set number one. 17 point first set win. We'll see what they can bring to the table here in set number two. Block back. Now the West Texas Westerners get another chance. They'll just punch one across. Cougars now with a free ball opportunity here. Barbara Ravenel picking up right where she left off. And she's going to drop one right inside that left sideline. Ravenel with the first kill of set number two here in the First State Bank second set. First State Bank is a proud supporter of Panhandle Athletics. When you grow, we grow. And the Cougars now leading one to nothing here in set number two on the Life Cell Center scoreboard. And Draji will continue her service here for WNCC. WNCC Classic taking place here to today and tomorrow. We'll talk about some of the other teams involved in this weekend's tournament as the Cougars get another block. And I'll tell you this time... Anna Marie Perkins went up there with a head full of steam, and she was blocked straight back down by Jaji Gerardo. Ended up touching one more Westerner on its way to the floor and then just rolled harmlessly over here in front of the scorer's table. Cougars on track so far this morning. Well, I should say afternoon. Seems like morning, but Cougars are going to score again, just like in the first set, rolling out here to three quick points as... Carly Pounds, kill leader for West Texas. Again, missing that back corner. Well past the back line. Easy call there. 
And Fabiana Andrade, we often speak of her being the lucky penny for the Cougars behind the service line. She certainly has been that today. Extremely efficient. And she'll get another one here. Only server so far in this set, leading three to nothing on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Back row played up front now to Tabitha Williams. She'll set it up right side, but blocked right back down. This time, Ashley Everly, the 5'11 redshirt freshman out of Henderson, Colorado. Same thing, though. Jaji Girado, also Barbara Rabin, all set up on the left side of the net, and they are not letting anything get across easily here. Coach Canales looking on has to be pleased with the way his team has been performing so far this afternoon four to nothing now on the lifestyle center scoreboard on Jaji back row west texas again rotating people around not getting to the right place at the right time pushed out of bounds by carly pounds and she has given up a number of points to the cougars so far this afternoon as i don't think she's got one kill yet and on the season she sits with just under 300 297 so she is an effective hitter. She just has not found her stroke so far this afternoon at the Palace. And the shot off the net. Looks like it's going to be touched by a Cougar. So again, temporarily stopping the bleeding, but not before the Cougars roll out to a 5-1 to one lead. And Western Texas will now hand the ball off to Juliana Rodriguez, 5'4 freshman out of Big Spring, Texas, for the serve. High delivery. She'll plow one across. Kale Perez is there. Andrade now sets it up front. Rabinal is going to send another Westerner to the floor. Juliana Rodriguez gets underneath that one. Nothing else she can do with it. Bounces off her and out of bounds. And I'll tell you, a number of volleyballs making their way to the scorer's table today. Just trying to protect myself, my life, and limb. Steve Hall, I fear for your safety as well. <laughs> Surfaces across, and that's going to be an ace. Jaji Girado hits the top of the net, and then one of the Westerners, as it just continues on its course across Cougar Palace. And Jaji Girado making up for that service error in the first set with an ace here, and it's 7-1 to one Cougars as they continue domination of the Westerners here in Cougar Palace. Jaji Girado with another ace, back-to-back. -back. That one off the hands of Anna Marie Perkins and out of bounds. And Jaji Girado... Uh, I'll take two aces for one error, and timeout's going to be called. Coach George Hamilton again, seeing things unraveling here early in set number two. Eight to one, Cougars lead. We'll take a 30-second timeout and come back with more Cougar volleyball on sunny 99.3. Where can you start a career that puts you in demand? At Western Nebraska Community College, you can choose from programs designed to launch your career or give it a complete makeover. Class sizes are small, so you get more personal attention with your instructors. Flexible class schedules and online programs make it convenient. Western Nebraska Community College. Start here, get there. Nebraska, Colorado, South Dakota, and Wyoming residents all enjoy our low in-state tuition. Summer classes begin June 2nd. Fall classes begin August 18th. Aloha, I'm Mariah O'Connor, number 11, and you're listening to Cougar Volleyball. Back to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3 as Jaji Girada will set back to serve once again for the Cougars. This one's going to go long on the mark, though, out of bounds. So, feast or famine so far with Jaji Girada today, either an ace or an error. And that one will send another point back to the Westerners. Cougars lead, though, 8-2 to two on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Still haven't given the Westerners their point, and I'm not going to tell them about that one. This one's going to stay inbounds as Rabinal watches it fall. Thinks maybe it's going to just miss that sideline, but an ace on the other side for Anna Marie Perkins. Still now it should be 8-3 to three on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard, but it still reads 8-1. to one. Oh, there they go. Now they got it. 8-3 to three is officially the score. Back row now. Katie Ernest up front to Andraji, and Rabinal, or rather Boogie Tiamalu, is going to get another kill as that four-headed monster for the Cougars continues to have an effective afternoon. And speaking of it, Laura Peached back in the ball game now. Kennedy size up front along with Barbara Rabinal and Draji and Kale Perez in the back, or in the middle rather, and Boogie Tiamalu back to serve. Nine to three Cougars here in set number two on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And a net violation is gonna be called against Barbara Rabinal on the right side. Three point for the Westerners. Nine to three now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard here. In the first eight bank, second set, proud supporter of Panhandle Athletics. When you grow, we grow. Cougars up two or one set to none here after a dominating performance in set one, 25 to eight, the final. On the Lifestyle Center scoreboard, Victoria Garcia, the 5'8 sophomore out of McAllen, Texas, back to serve. She'll get it across up front, and Draji feeds it for Kennedy Siza. Siza looked like she probably was going back past the back line, but Western Texas keeps it up and over in three now. And Draji with another free ball opportunity. Barbara Rabinall picks her spot off the hands out of bounds of Tana Bear. And again, you just don't know what you're going to get. Rabinall goes up there, acts like she's just going to put a fist into it, and instead just pushes it into a 
little opening there in the defense. Bear got a hand out on it, but that's all she could do was make contact. Cougars crack 10, 10 to 4 now. As Rabinal goes back to serve for WNCC, kept aloft by Western Texas and pushed over but out of bounds off the hands of Tavia Hearn. By a sophomore out of Plainview, Texas. Her first action of the day results in an error and a Cougar point, 11 to 4. High arcing serve from Rabinal. This one's going to go straight back up to Laura Peach, and now another one at the net. And they're going to say, I believe, a net violation against the Cougars as Peach. Put her hands up and over, kind of could tell that those fingers curled down, and they're quick to make the call. 11 to 5, however, Cougars still lead by 6 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard, and back to serve will be Lupita Quintanilla. Back row, Manu is there with a high dig up front, and Draji gets control of it off to Peached, and Peached is just going to miss that back line. That was awful close, but just could not keep it in bounds. Cougars' lead is now 5, 11 to 6. As. Western Texas already almost with as many points here in the second set as they had in the entire first. Set dump chance there for Andrade. Can't get it to fall, but coming back the other way, a block for Lara Peach on the left side, and she'll get the point that way. So it's all right to score on defense as long as you make it work, and Lara Peach gets the point there. 12 to 6 now on the Life Cell Center scoreboard. Line drive served by K.O. Perez, played by Western Texas, punched across by Pounds, free ball opportunity now for the Cougars. Laura Peach gets another gift from Andrade, gets it blocked back, but K.O. Perez returns it over to the Westerners. Now Pounds will take another shot at it, and I think finally she's going to get her first kill as that one just stays in bounds, tickles that tape on the left side of the floor. And Pounds makes it a 12-7 Cougar advantage. Service across from CNN's up front. And Draw Juvenile set up Laura Peached. And Peached is going to send it across. But Western Texas keeps it alive. Now Pounds with another chance. She'll go cross court. Diving for it as Peach keeps it alive. Now Jaji Gerardo off the feed from Andraji. But Andraji is going to get called for the double hit. Just couldn't play that one cleanly. And the Cougars now leading by four. 12 to eight on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Second set getting a little bit tighter here midway through. And Sienes will continue to serve. Back row, Manu is there. High dig up front to Andrade. She'll set it in the middle for Rabinal. Rabinal sends it across, kept alive by Garcia. Now a chance for Pounds on the left side, but she swings for the fences, and that's what she hits. Nothing but that first row of bleachers. And the Cougars get it back, leading by five. 13 to eight, Lara Peach will now serve for WNCC. Looks like Manu will sit. She is replaced by Boogie Tiamalu. Cougars up front. Boogie, Jaji Girado, and Andraji shot back across. Kept alive by Kale Perez. Set up, but too much on it from Jaji Girado. And she will miss the back line out of bounds. The error will send it back to Western Texas. Cougars still lead by four, 13 to nine. On the Lifestyle Center scoreboard, Lara Peach will be spelled by Katie Ernest. And back to serve now for the Westerners will be Tabitha Williams. 13 to nine on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Cougars took set one, trying to do the same here in set two and put some pressure on Western Texas because it doesn't matter how big you win one set by, if the Western Texas Westerners can come back and take this one, we're going to be all knotted up at one set apiece. And Boogie Tiamalo continues them on that road with a long shot out of bounds, 13-10. to 10, And Williams will serve again now for Western Texas. Jump serve sent across, and they're going to call a rotation violation against the Cougars. As the sideline official over there talking to Andraji, Coach Canales with a quizzical look on his face, and that was something that killed NJC the other night. But five or six points given up by rotation violations. We'll see if the Cougars got things fixed here. Don't want to give up too many free points against a quality team like Western Texas, and right now it's 13-11 to 11 as Coach Canales and the side official looking over things, making sure we're in the right places now. Will be Boogie Tiamalo, Jaji Girado, and Fabiana Andrade up front with Rabinal, Keo Perez, and Katie Ernest in the back row. No whistle, so that's good. Not another rotation violation. Set up middle of the floor for Boogie Tiamalo. She'll push it across, and Tabitha Williams didn't know what to do with it at first, just pushes it up. Saved from going on the floor by Keo Perez, but it goes off her fist and out of bounds. And after coming out here in set number two, five to nothing. Western Texas has made a game out of this one. 13-12 now, just a one-point lead for the Cougars. Tabitha Williams back to serve once again. 
here in a set that has not been played as cleanly by the Cougars, but also Western Texas has come alive a little bit more here in the second set. Jaji Dorado, speaking of coming alive, gets one up in front of her, and it's almost like Western Texas just backs off all at once in unison. Nobody wanted to get away of that uh, big hit. This is one of the NJC players saw the other night as they took one right on the temple from Jaji Dorado. She was all right, but I'm sure it stung. 14 to 12, Cougars with a two-point lead. Service from Andraji almost turns into an ace, but in the end, Pounds is going to be able to return it in three, pushed over by Rabinall. Now a free ball opportunity for West Texas. Pushed across by Pounds, and she takes advantage of the Cougars being out of place on defense. Boogie Tiamalu dives for that one, but cannot get contact. Give Pounds some credit that time. Realize that there was a little bit of a hole in that defense, and instead of just plowing one, she pushes it in the right place, and the Cougars back to a one-point lead now. Service off the net goes across. Cougars are able to recover, and Jaji Girado, who has been huge for the Cougars here throughout this match, sends another one with authority to the floor as K.O. Perez will go back to the bench. She's replaced by Kennedy Size. In fact, they... Pretty tall lineup up front right now for the Cougars with Kennedy Siza, Boogie Tiamalo, and Barbara Rabidol. Middle of the floor features Andraji and Katie Ernest, and back to serve is Jaji Girado. Telegraphs another one across, but West Texas, Anna Marie Perkins came up towards the middle like she had business to attend to, but it was blocked straight back by Rabidol, and that's going to be a point. Rather, I believe Kennedy Siza was the one who actually made the contact on that one. So Kennedy Siza using that six foot two frame to turn it into points for the Cougars, and they lead by three, 16 13 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Played by West Texas back the other way, and the Cougars are going to get called. No, oh, that's going to be a net violation against Western Texas, so a break there for the Cougars. As that one looked like it came awkwardly across from Lupita Quintanilla. And the Cougars are going to score another point off the error from Western Texas. The 17 to 13 now the score on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Quintanilla with a nice shot that kept alive by Jaji Girado. And then at the net, Robinall sends it back across to West Texas, not letting them cross that net. Cougars now will get it back and play some offense here. Boogie Tiamalo, cross court shot, stays in bounds, beautifully played. And Boogie Tiamalo with another kill. Excellent work there. And yeah, actually, uh, good note just passed to me by Steve Hall. Oh, Santana Mitchell. She is here. She just hasn't played yet tonight. I saw her in the warm ups, and I actually had a look over there. She's over there on the bench next to Kaylee Spryer as Western Texas will take another shot across. Didn't hear anything being wrong with Santana. It doesn't appear as there is anything wrong. Just has not made an appearance yet in the ball game. Maybe Coach Canales waiting for her to provide that necessary spark if and when it is needed. Right now, the Cougars handling business, but they are leading by four here in set number two, 18 14 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Anna Marie Perkins back to serve once again for Western Texas. Back row, Ernest is there. High dig up front to Andraji. Can do whatever she wants with it. Gives it off to Boogie Tiamalu, whose offering is kept alive, but West Texas isn't going to get it back. Two hit violation called against the Westerners. And mistake after mistake has cost Coach Hamilton's squad here this afternoon. Cougars trying to really apply the pressure here and take set two, leading 19 to 14. Katie Ernest will sit. Lara Peached will replace her on the floor. Up front, Western Texas with another shot and another error. Out of bounds it goes off the hands of Ashley Eberly. Missed that back line. And an error coming back the other way from Boogie Tiamalo. A rare service error on the day for the Cougars, but Tiamalo sends that one straight into the net. Cougars, however, are into the 20s now. 20-15 to 15 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. However, much more effort out of Western Texas here in the second set as the first set went 25-8. to eight. Right now we sit at 20-15, to 15, so regardless, they've already nearly doubled their point total from the first set, but picking right up again. Rabinall, nice kill off the hands of the blockers and flies well out of bounds. And Rabinall will also be rewarded with the serve. Cougars leading by 6, 21 to 15 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Shot goes across. Western Texas now working on offense up front. Off the hands of the blocker and out of bounds. Kennedy Siza got a hand on it, but could not keep it under control. And that kill will be credited to Tana Bear. Tana Bear number four on the kill lead. Chart for Western Texas with over 100. One of four players with over 100 kills on the season for the Westerners. And Draji now sets it up for somebody for the Cougars that's got over 100 kills. Won't add to it here, though, with Peached. Sent back by the Westerners. Now Andraji tries to set up off the hands of the blockers, but it's going to stay inbounds. 
And so Andraji with a heads up play over there just to try to push it over is denied. And Western Texas back within four. 21 17 here in set number two. Lupita Quintanilla with the serve. Back row, Mana was there up front to Andraji and Kennedy Siza. Expected to be in one place, but came a little bit too close to her, and she whiffs that one. The error will make it a three-point game. 21-18 to 18 with Quintanilla back to serve once again for Western Texas. High jumping serve. Back row to Rabinall. That thing's going to go way too high. Kennedy Siza gets the return back, but trying to chase it down was Manu and just gets a fist on that one as it goes out of bounds, and Western Texas has come right back into this one. Coach Canales calling his first time out of the day as Western Texas certainly has applied the pressure here late in set two, 21 to 19, the score on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And speaking of the Lifestyle Center, I do want to thank them for bringing you the scoreboard this afternoon. From makeup and beauty supplies to spa services, including nails, hair, massage, even a garden center with flowers, shrubs, and more, the Lifestyle Center has you covered. Book online anytime with the spa by TLC.com. TLC, the Lifestyle Center, 3109 Avenue B in Scotts Bluff. Well, the Cougars winning set number one relatively easily. 25 to 8 was the final. Final there, but this one, although they did come out and lead five to nothing to start things off in set number two, Western Texas has certainly rebounded from a slew of errors in set number one. They made a few here in set number two, but the Cougars also, after a relatively clean first set, have made a few little mistakes here in set number two as well that have really given Western Texas an opportunity here late as the Cougars try to shut the door and really make things tough on Western Texas if they can somehow pull out this second set but right now Western Texas with the ball and only trailing by two 21 to 19 the score on the lifestyle center scoreboard Lupita Quintanilla back to serve once again for the Westerners we'll see if the Cougars can right the ship coming out of the timeout Quintanilla jumping serve back row to Manu up front for Andraji now she'll set it up for Laura Peach then Peach is going to get a quick kill coming out of that timeout Smile on her face, well-deserved, as she perfectly placed that one, coming from the left side, put it cross-court, where the defense really couldn't do anything with it. To be a Hearn, Tana Bear back into the game now for the Westerners. Service across from K.O. Perez. Returned in three, saved by Rabinall. Now Andraji will set it up for Peach. It's a little bit too far behind her, just has to punch one across. Not a whole lot on it. And it's going to be returned by Hearn in three. Now another chance for Laura Peached. Just hits it off that candy cane, and they're actually going to call. I figured they were waiting on that core. Laura, call Laura Peached. Really kind of making that red and white pull bounce back and forth. And that's not legal. That's going to be a free point now for the Westerners. Coming back the other way, the Libero, Sienes. And a block by Jaji, or blocked. Jaji Gerardo rather is blocked on the right side and right now the Westerners really starting to turn things around here late in set two 22 21 now the score almost a serve ace there but coming back the other way Laura Peach is going to shut down the momentum for the Westerners at least temporarily if she puts that one off the blockers hands and out of bounds it goes Cougars really need set number two this could be a huge confidence booster for the Westerners if they were able to turn things around here Cougars do lead, but they've got to be able to shut the door here. 23-21 the score. Laura Peach is going to send that one right in front of the bench. Not a good serve from Laura Peach. And that was a killer. The point the Cougars needed now makes it 23-22 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Peach will sit replaced by Katie Ernest. And now the Cougars will need a good defensive stand here to try to turn things back around. Tabitha Williams will serve for West Texas. And we'll see if the Cougars can try to force a set point here as the Westerners certainly have tightened things up late in this set. Up front, and Andraji will now set it up near side for Boogie Tiamalu. That one's going to go off the blocker's hand straight back across to the Cougars. Another free ball opportunity here. And Boogie Tiamalu this time, it's going to go off the blocker's hands and straight out of bounds in between Steve Hall and I here at the Logos Broadcast booth. And so as... Ordered. The Cougars get a set point, but a timeout's going to be called. The Westerners realize just how important this point is, and they don't want to give it up easily. They're going to call a timeout. 24-22 Cougars back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. Saving money is much easier when you do it automatically. All you have to do is tell us how much you want to save and we'll automatically deduct it from your checking account and put it in your savings account. Out of sight, out of mind. It's the easy way to save. 
Get started with automatic savings today. First State Bank, member FDIC. We're big on you. This is number four, Santana Mitchell, and you're listening to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. And welcome back to Sunny 99.3. Fabian Andrade with the game or set point serve, and that one's just going to be kept alive by the Westerners. Amazing job there. Dug back up by Kale Perez, but it's going to go out of bounds, and Western Texas avoids a 2 nothing set deficit there with a great play on the left side not giving that one up easily and the Cougars still with a set point here 24-23 but they need this one services across back row K.O. Perez up front to Andrade in the middle of the floor Fabinol is going to end it there so Western Texas with a furious rally but they're going to come up just short on the Rabinol kill ending set number two for the Cougars much more difficult than set number one the final 25-23 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard we're going to step aside, take a two-minute timeout. When we come back, we will prepare you for set number three. But before we do, I want to thank NTC for bringing you the second and third set break. Proud to support local youth, high school, and college activities over the last 40 years, and they are looking for experienced drivers to join their team. You can join the NTC family today by visiting nebt.com. Back in two minutes with more Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. Summertime means getting out on the open road. Make sure your car is vacation ready. High Tech Auto Services, domestic cars and trucks, does tune-ups, engine repair, air conditioning services, electrical repair, brakes, shocks, and exhaust. High Tech Auto can pinpoint any problems your car is having with their diagnostic machine. And don't forget, High Tech even does oil changes. So before you head out, drive in to High Tech Auto Service located between the Mercantile and Heilbrunn's Napa. Or call Terry at 632-2731. High Tech Auto, getting your car ready to take on the open road. The Zone at Scottsdale Screen Printing is your headquarters for banners, business cards, uniforms, t-shirts, jackets, and all your sports gear. All of us at Scottsdale Screen Printing are very proud to be a part of this valley for over 20 years, and we stand behind all of our products. If you can dream it up, Scottsdale Screen Printing can make it happen. When you need to customize anything for your team, business, or just yourself, Scottsdale Screen Printing is the answer. For embroidery, screen printing, or anything else you can dream of, Scottsdale Screen Printing at 1813 Broadway, downtown Scottsdale. A little bit of every Everything. Yes, that's right. They have a little bit of everything. Need a gift for any special occasion? They have one for everybody, a little bit of everything in downtown Scott's Bluff. If you haven't been in to check it out, you need to stop in and you'll find a little bit of everything. For that person that has everything, you'll find something special from home decor, kitchen accessories, wedding or shower gifts, and even gifts for the griller or sports fan. It's all in a little bit of everything. 1610 Broadway in downtown Scott's Bluff. Stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to to keep up with your kids, your finances, your insurance, your life? Then let State Farm Agent Brad Ham and Scott's Bluff help you simplify and get to a better state. Because with Brad handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time to handle everything else. More money, too, because adding State Farm policies can earn discounts that could add up to 40% and actually help you get ahead. Call State Farm Agent Brad Ham and Scott's Bluff today and get to a better state with State Farm. <laughs> Hola, I am Barbara Briseño, a number nine, and you listen to Cougar Volleyball. And welcome back to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. A little bit of a nail-biter there in set number two, but the Cougars do come out victorious in the first eight bank second set as they win 25-23 after taking set number one, 25-8. Apparently, the Westerners waking up there in set number two, but the Cougars do lead two sets to none, leading into set number three. And again, thanks to NTC for bringing you our second and third set break. Proud to support local youth, high school, and college activities over the last 40 years, and they are looking for experienced drivers to join their team. You you can join the NTC family today by visiting nebt.com. Cougar Volleyball on the Bluff Sports Network, presented by Platte Valley Companies with locations in Nebraska and Wyoming. They are your home team financial and insurance network that works for you. Visit online at pbbank.com. Westerners will serve to start set number three here. Back to do the honors will be Tabitha Williams as the Westerners will work from right to left on your radio dial, awaiting the all clear. Looks like we're getting the whistle blown and we are underway here in set number three. Williams. We'll put a hand on this one, and across it goes. Cougars in business now. Set dump for Andrade. Oh, nice work there by the libero. Sienna is just to keep that off the ground. She was not fooled. But in the end, Western Texas will not get it back across the net. Cougars strike first as they did in sets one and two, and it's one to nothing on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard here in the Winkler Electric third set. Fabian Andrade has been huge from the service line so far for the Cougars today, and she's going to get another ace to her credit off the hands and out of bounds of Sienna's. 
And a pancake dig attempt there by Tabitha Williams. All for naught. Cougars up two to nothing now in the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Led by as many as six to nothing in the first, five to nothing in the second. And right now they go up two to nothing here in the third set. Fabiano Draghi with another nice serve. Sienna's back row up front, fed to pounds. Kept alive by Andrade. High up in the air it goes. Kale Perez now more towards the net. Boogie Tiamalo will return it to the Westerners. Now far side hit taken. Kept alive by Andrade. Up front, Rabinal will feed it far side. Boogie Tiamalo with the kill. And Sienna is looking up to the pedestal judge and pleading for something. I think she thought maybe Tiamalo came up over the net as she looked exasperated towards the judge up on the pedestal. But... Nothing doing as it's three to nothing Cougars. Fabiana Andrade will continue service here for the Cougars today. As Andrade will get a left-handed swing into it. Texas will put it up towards the net. Pounds is going to get another kill on the day. It's been few and far between for the kill leader from the Westerners, but this time it goes off the hands. And out of bounds of, of Andrade, and the Cougars will have to Settle for a 3-1 to one lead here as the service will go back across to Juliana Rodriguez for Western Texas. High delivery and punched across hard. Back row, Cleo Perez is there up front. And Jaji will feed it to Jaji Gerardo who pushes it across for the soft laid kill. Juliana Rodriguez rolling for it but can't get underneath it. The Cougars lead by 3 here in set number 3. 4-1 to one on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And Jaji Gerardo back to serve. High arcing serve. Back row, Sienna's is there up front now with a feed to Quintanilla. Kept alive by the Cougars. And now a possibility for Tia Malu, but she'll go cross court out of bounds. Point to the Westerners. 4-2 to two now on the Live Cell Center scoreboard. Third set brought to you by Winkler Electric. Winkler Electric is your doctor of electricity, and they are proud supporters of high school and college athletics. Let the doctors of electricity take care of your electrical needs. Click on the link. Winkler Electric, 635-1013 as the service goes straight into the net. Air will send it back to the Cougars, leading by 3, 5-2 to two on the Lifestyle Center Cougars, scoreboard. Focus, focus. And back to serve now, it will be Boogie Tiamalu for the Cougars. She'll send one across. Now working on it is Quintanilla. Over it goes. Cougars keep it alive. Andrade feeds it near side for Ravenel. She's rejected. And that black block is going to go back onto the floor. Hearn and Quintanilla both there for Western Texas. And that turns into a point for the Westerners, trailing by two. Five to three on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard as substitutions will come in for Western Texas. Looks like back on the floor is Tana Bear. And also into the game now to serve is Victoria Garcia. Back row to Ravenel. Andrade now feeds it to Ravenel as she comes up front off the hands of Quintanilla and out of bounds. So the kill will go to Rabinal, who also will get the service duties. Six to three now on the Life Cell Center scoreboard. Cougars lead two sets to none on the Life Cell Center scoreboard. We'll see if they can get the sweep here against Western Texas. Dig goes high up in front, and all Fabiano Andrade has to do is just reach up and push it right back down. One of those perfect placements for Fabiana Andrade, and she's got another kill on the afternoon. Fifth leading on the kill charts for the Cougars so far this season and well over a thousand assists on the year. She has been kind of the everything player for the Cougars so far this season. Should mention Santana Mitchell out on the floor now. The Gearing native getting her first playing time of the day but a block at the net between her and Andrade goes awry. That one falls to the floor on the side of the Cougars. Will be a Westerners point. Cougars lead is now three. Seven to four in the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Carly Pounds checks back into the game. For the Westerners, she replaces Juliana Rodriguez. Service across from Quintanilla. Now Cougars get a chance at it. Santana Mitchell blasts one off the hands of her and goes straight up in the air. Pound saw it, but just could not get underneath it in time. So Santana Mitchell with her first kill of the game. Makes it 8-4 to four Cougars as Kale Perez will now go back to serve. Mitchell back out she goes, replaced by Jaji Gerardo. Westerners return it in three. Now Andrade with a chance for Jaji Gerardo. Kept alive by Quintanilla. Nice job by her on the dig. Sent over in three. Free ball opportunity now for the Cougars. Far side Laura Peach. Realized it was too close to the net. Just pushes it over. Now a free ball for the Westerners. Back the other way. Kept alive by K.O. Perez. And now Jaji Gerardo with another kill on the afternoon. Not a whole lot behind that one either. But she saw exactly where it needed to go. And although Victoria Garcia... Dove to the floor for it, could not do anything with it. And the Cougars leading by five, nine to four on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. K.O. Perez services across, and we'll see a timeout, I believe, was called before the serve, and exactly that is the call. So nine to four on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Cougars with the lead and the serve, and 
I believe Keo Perez will be back to do the honors once again after we come out of this timeout. But while we have a moment, I would like to thank our Bluff Sports Network sponsors, Runza, West Co. Logos, Nebraska Transport Company, Platte Valley Companies, Scott's Bluff Body and Paint, Waste Connections, First State Bank, Scott's Bluff Screen Printing, WNCC, High Tech Auto, Century Lumber, and Big Sky Ford. Make sure you stop in and thank them for bringing you not only Cougar Athletics, but high school sports across the Bluff Sports Network. Keep in mind, we will have another Cougar game coming your way tonight on Sunny 99.3 as it is the Cougars versus Garden City, second re-homecoming for former assistant coach Jackie Matula as she brings her squad back to Cougar Palace. Things didn't go so well for her and her team the first time. We'll see if they've made some adjustments coming into their second attempt at the Cougars, hitting the first two tournaments. We're here for the Wyo Brasca tournament couple weeks ago and now back again for the WNCC Classic. Keep in mind also the Lady Cougar Classic will be played later on this month at Cougar Palace. Kale Perez able to get this one across but it bounces off the net and goes over. Not as clean as the first one and coming back the other way. A block by Lara Peach goes out of bounds. Point will go to the Westerners. 9-5 to five now as Dolly Parton would sing. And it looks like Erica Sienes will be back to serve now for Western Texas. Across it goes, back row underneath it is Rabinall. Andraji feeds it far side. Laura Peach immediately rectifies the situation. Last point off her went for the Westerners. This one's going to go for the Cougars as she blasts one down in the back row. And the Cougars continue to roll here, doubling up the score at 10 to 5 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And Laura Peach will be back to serve now for WNCC. Middle of the floor, back row. West Texas just pushes one over. Cougars with a free ball now, and Adraji will take another opportunity for a set dump and puts that one plunked right down on that blue line. Perfect placement there. You think Western Texas would have been paying attention to that by this point, but I know, and the note passed to me by Steve Hall, Mark Ryan thinks that set number two is jinx for the Cougars, but Dave Bruns and I are fully convinced it's set number three. However... I don't want to say that too loudly as we are in set number three, but that seems to be the one that's given them fits all season long. As they almost drop set two here, maybe Mark has his jinx a little more. I, I'm just going to say second and third sets have not been very good to the Cougars so far this season. But typically that depth just really, I think, is able to kind of have them outlast some of their opponents. And Bogey Tiamalo is going to be denied again as she takes the attempt from the left side that just goes out of bounds. The officials concur and decide it went out of bounds. Westerners point, 11-7 to now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Another service comes across from Tabitha Williams. Cougars now play it far side. Bogey Tiamalo, another chance. This one blocked back. And on the dig return, it goes right back over the Westerners. Free ball opportunity. Cross-court shot out of bounds. Taken by Williams, no touches by the Cougars, and they'll get the ball back, leading by five. 12 to 7 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Leading two sets to none, trying to wrap things up here with a three set sweep, but still some work left to be done as Andraji goes back to serve now for the Cougars. Jumping left handed serve goes middle of the floor, almost an ace, but the Westerners able to keep it alive. Pounds takes the shot off the blocker's hands, out of bounds. Last touch by Rabinal, Jaji Girado also right there with her, and that's going to be a point for the Westerners. Western Texas keeping it tight here in set number three. Brought to you by Winkler Electric, 12 to 8 now on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Back to serve will be Juliana Rodriguez for Western Texas. Again, high delivery. Punches one hard, and that one's going to go. Wow, they're going to say that one stayed in bounds. That was certainly a judgment call. Looked like it went out. But the back judge quick to call it in. So an ace serve there by Juliana Rodriguez. Excellent delivery, and she gets one to go for her team. Same thing here, back row, this one a little bit more in, and Keo Perez keeps it alive up front. Rabinal is going to take the kill from the net. Puts it right back down behind all the defense for Western Texas. That one stays nicely in bounds, beautiful placement. And the Cougars back up by four, 13-9 with Jaji Girado back to serve now for WNCC. It's a big swat at it, goes in the back row to Siena, is now worked up front. Shot taken by Anna Marie Perkins goes straight out of bounds, untouched by the Cougars. I think she expected one of the blockers to make contact with it because she really put a lot on that one. But Perkins misses the mark, and it's another Cougar point now up by five again. 14 to 9 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard near side. Quintanilla with a chance, and that one, wow, they're going to say stayed in bounds. Katie Ernest dove for it. Don't think she made contact with it. And as a result, I thought that ball 
stayed out of bounds, but the official hesitantly called it a Western Texas point. And they'll get the ball back, trailing by four, 14 to 10, with Anna Marie Perkins back to serve for the Westerners. Up front, Andraji will set it up far side. Boogie Tiamalo keeps it in bounds. Back flag judge has been much nicer to us this afternoon than she was against NJC the other evening. Now she's given us a number of close ones back there. That time just inside the line. Tiamalo gets the point and the serve. 15 to 10 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Tiamalo with another good service to the back row. Worked up front. Quintanilla will be blocked at the line, but Western Texas keeps it alive. Pushed back over into free ball now for the Cougars. Santana Mitchell will get another kill. That one delayed reaction for Juliana Rodriguez as she just puts, puts her hands up in the air and able to make contact with that one, but kind of raises the roof, and it goes up and out of bounds. Mitchell with another kill, but unfortunately, Boogie Tiamalo, too much mustard on that serve, and another service error for the Cougars. Been few and far between today, but they are just a frustrating issue the Cougars have dealt with a lot this season. As Abigail Talbot will toss the ball back in. Six-foot-four freshman has not seen a lot of playing time today. And one of the few times she's touched the ball this afternoon. Hands it off to Victoria Garcia. Across it goes. Cougars now with a chance. Rabinall swings for the fences, but that one's going to go out of bounds. Just a little bit too much on that one. Crosses the back line. Cougars' lead is now 4, 16-12. Still in good shape, but they'll get a free one there from Victoria Garcia. She plunks one straight into the net. Service error. Sends it back over to WNCC with Rabinall back to do the honors. Cougars lead by 5. 17 to 12 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Rabinall service. Middle of the floor, Western Texas will have a chance here. Quintanilla punches one across. Free ball opportunity now for the Cougars. Far side played by Lara Peach. Stop the blockers. Well, they're going to stay off the net. Thought it touched one of the Westerners on the far side, but instead bounces up off the net, out of bounds. Peach with the error, gives it back to Western Texas. And Quintanilla back to serve. 17-13 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Cougars in front. Andraji set up, and I'll tell you, Western Texas, they were not prepared for that at all. And they've seen that several times this afternoon. They acted like that was the first time they've ever seen anybody do that, as they literally did not even move. And that ball just falls right onto the 10-foot line for another Cougar point. 18-13, good service across, kept alive by the Westerners up front and pushed over by Andraji, and they're going to say no touch by the Cougars. Andraji was quick to try to point fingers, I think, at Tavia Hearn, but she was the only one that made contact. Point goes to the Westerners, 18-14 now. Good hit by Jaji Gerardo, Black, blocked up and out of bounds. Maybe that last touch to Anna Marie Perkins before it went askew. Cougars back in front by five, late in set number three, trying to shut out the Westerners in three straight sets. 19-14 is Lara Peached back to serve for the Cougars. Westerners keep it in play, far side taken by Bear. Cougars with a chance now. Andraji sets it up for Boogie Tiamalu, and Tiamalu, wow, I'll tell you, that was just a brilliant play. They had loaded up that right side of the net. Three defenders over there, and Boogie Tiamalu recognizing that just pushes it into the middle of the floor where no one was. And she cracks the 20 mark for the Cougars. 20 to 14 service from Peach to Cross. Just returned in three and off the hands of Boogie Tiamalu and out of bounds. Keeps the Westerners chugging along here, at least for the moment. 20 to 15 now the score as a slew of Western Texas players will come to check in. Also, Katie Ernest will check in for Lara Peach. Looks like sitting down is Bear and Garcia for Western Texas. And into the ball game now is Carly Pounds and Tabitha Williams back to serve. 20-15 to 15 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard here in the Winkler Electric third set. Service hits the top of the net, goes across. Cougars keep it up in the air. Far side, Boogie Tiamalu bounces at Pachinko style off a couple of defenders on the right side of the net. Out of bounds it goes, and the Cougars up 21-15 to 15 here in the Winkler Electric third set. Winkler Electric, your doctor of electricity, are proud supporters of high school and college athletics. Let the doctors of electricity take care of your electrical needs quick as a wink. Winkler Electric, 635-1013. Fabiana Andraji back to serve now for the Cougars. Westerners keep it in the air. Near side. Pounds with a shot at it. Sent back over. Katie Ernest. Her dig is going to go up and out of bounds. The error will give the Westerners another point. Within five now. 21-16 to 16 
on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. Also appreciate our other set sponsors, Century Lumber. The Cougars have the tools to finish the job, hopefully getting close thanks to Century Lumber. Serving the Scotts Bluff, Scotts Bluff community for over 80 years. Stop in and let Century Lumber help you with all of your hardware and construction needs. Service across and Jaji sets it up for Jaji Gerardo. She just pushes one over. Free ball now for Western Texas, but they push it back across. Now the Cougars with a chance here. Rabinall takes a nice swing at it. That one goes high off the blocker's hands. Hits one of the side basketball net pulls over here on the far side of Cougar Palace, and that's a Cougar point up by six, 22-16. With Zhaji Zhrao, the powerful hitter back to serve now for the Cougars. Blast one across. Westerners keep it. Up front they go. Off the blocker's hands. Cougars keep it aloft. Now Andraji will set it up over her head for Boogie Tiamalu. Blocked back. Now the Cougars with another chance. Try to track it down as Andraji. And unfortunately cannot swing it backwards. Off her fist and out of bounds it goes as she heads into one of the tables here along the sideline. And there's a couple of tense moments there for Cougar fans. She is not one of the players the Cougars can afford to lose to injury here with her well over 1,000 assists on the season. Hit back across, and that's going to go off of Juliana Rodriguez and out of bounds. Cougars getting ever closer to that magic number now at 23, leading by 6, 23-17 on the Lifestyle Center scoreboard. And back to serve will be Boogie Tiamalu trying to put the wraps on the afternoon. And Mariah O'Connor checks into the ball game. Now my favorite player of the day, as her father gave me some delicious chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. So she gets my favorite player of the day. Not sure if it'll warrant her an MVP honor, as she hasn't played a whole lot this afternoon. But I'll tell you, chocolates will uh, get you extra bonus points in my book any day of the week. However, the Westerners are able to get a point off of the hands and out of bounds. I believe last touch by Ravenall before it went into the stands. Cougars still lead by 5, 23-18. Back row, Manu is there up front to Andraji. Now she'll set it up for Mariah O'Connor, and O'Connor is going to be denied. Westerners keep it alive. Blocked at the net, but still up in the air. Cougars now with another chance. Andraji feeds it to the far side to Ravenall. Ravenall across, but Westerners keep it up. Back over they go. Now a chance. Kao Perez to Andraji. Andraji far side. Another opportunity for Ravenall, and this time she's going to get it to go. Off the blocker's hands and out of bounds. Rabinall with another kill to add to her impressive total on the season. And the Cougars one point away from the three-set sweep, 24-18. With Rabinall back to serve now for WNCC. Service hits the top of the net and it goes over. A diving to Via Hearn can't get underneath it in time. And the Cougars will take it in three straight sets, 25-18, to 18, your third set final, as the Cougars now 26-3 and three on the season, and the West Texas Westerners will fall to 22-11. and 11. And again, thanks so much to Century Lumber for providing you also set coverage. The Cougars have the tools, as they just proved, to finish the job, thanks to Century Lumber. Serving the Scotts Bluff community for over 80 years. Stop in today and let Century Lumber help you with all of your hardware and construction needs. We're going to take a two-minute timeout, come back with the Platte Valley Company's post-game show, and put the wraps on an afternoon win for the Cougars after this. You're listening to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3. McDonald's knows that not all deals are good. Honey, what is that? It's called an umbrella. It's an umbrella for dudes. Comes with six different attachments. Flashlight, crowbar, stapler. You paid money for that? I did. There's a lot to love for a little on McDonald's dollar menu and more. Like a six-piece chicken McNuggets or a double cheeseburger for $1.69. And don't forget to add a $1 any size soft drink or tea. Prices of participation may vary, a la carte only. Throughout my life, I've been the face paint fan, the cup holder hat with the straw fan, and even the I'm at the game, but I want to hear my favorite play-by-play -play guy, so I bring my radio to the game fan. Most of the time, I'm the scream at the TV from home with the Big Mac and fries from McDonald's fan. What kind of fan are you? Share a Broncos tailgate box with two Big Mac burgers, two medium fries, 20 chicken McNuggets, and a Broncos window clean for $13.99, while supplies last. For a limited time, prices and participation may vary. I'm Kennedy Siza, number seven, and you're listening to Cougar Volleyball. Back to Cougar Volleyball on Sunny 99.3 as the Cougars looking just like the number one team of the nation, taking out a good team from Western Texas in three straight sets, 25-8, 25-23, 25-18, really that set two. The only time the Western Texas really giving the Cougars a run for their money here this afternoon, and the Cougars obviously will remain at number one after that win, but still more unfinished business on the weekend as they have three games left to go, one more today and two more tomorrow, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. First time now for the Platinum. 
Platte Valley Company's post-game show. Platte Valley Bank is a hometown bank with decisions made locally to serve you best. Stop on in and see what their team can do for you. And again, Cougars taking it in three straight sets quite impressively this afternoon as they really played well together. Didn't make a whole lot of those silly little mistakes. We've seen them kind of shoot themselves in the foot time and time again this season. Just played a pretty clean three straight sets of volleyball and as a result pick up a win over a quality club who came into this game at 22-10. and 10. Obviously, they will now fall to 22-11 and 11, and the Cougars just continue rolling at 26-3 and 3 now on the season. And again, they are number one one in the nation. Time now to award our Bentley Fine Jewelry and Repair Gem Play of the Game and stop in and see the Dazzling Diamonds. Anything from necklaces, earrings, rings, pendants to men's and women's watches and now buying gold. The best in downtown Scotts Bluff, 1609 and a half Broadway, Bentley's Fine Jewelry and Repair. And my Bentley's Fine Jewelry and Repair Gem Play of the Game has to be that first set when the Cougars just came out here and took the Westerners to task, winning 25-8, to eight, really not giving up a whole lot of anything in that first set only one set error or one service error in that entire first set from Jaji Girado she sent one a little bit long over the back row there early on in that set but I'll tell you a very very well played probably the most dominating set I've seen the Cougars play all season long and against a very very good team from Western Texas so that's set number one when the Cougars won 25 to 8 is my Bentley fine jewelry and repair gem play of the game and now one last piece of unfinished business before we put the wraps on the afternoon time to award the BNC Steel MVP of the game BNC Steel, locally owned and a loyal supporter of the community since 1946. Offering the Panhandle locally manufactured products, BNC Steel can custom build any building or structure that the consumer may need. And my BNC Steel MVP of the game, as much as I would love to give it to Mariah O'Connor for her father giving me those delicious candies, I have to give this one to Jaji Gerardo. And very, very deservedly so. Jaji Girado having a huge game all the way around. Didn't make a whole lot of mistakes. Just had a couple of little miscues here and there, but for the most part doing an excellent job taking what she was given and Andraji feeding her up time and time again. Jaji Girado not making those long shots, missing where she wanted to hit.